Hey guys, it's Ray. Welcome to this heart necklace DIY. For this one, we need some clay. This is a kind of clay that hardens with air called porcelain clay. And I've been loving this for DIYs. You don't need that much at all. And I'm just going to be working over a piece of wax paper. I'm going to be rolling this with my roller. I do have the DIY for those rings that you see on each side of the roller. This is going to be so random. But I'm going to just be using the smallest bear cookie cutter. I bought them on a set of three, so I'm just gonna be cutting teddy bears. Just like if you were cutting like cookies with your cookie cutter, it's pretty much the same. I just went crazy here and just I cut it a bunch more, but I just need two. Once I've done that, I'm just going to be rolling those bears onto this shape. The reason I just went with the whole bear thing is because I need the same amount of on both sides of my heart. I'm going to be gathering these two pieces together and I'm just going to push them towards the bottom part just to make this heart shape. And then I'm just going to be working on the shape of my heart, making this look like a heart, but you know, fluffy and pointy. So yeah, just take your time until you have the shape that you want. Once I have done that, I'm just going to be making a hole on top so I can use this as a charm using this tool that I made a DIY on. You can use a toothpick as well, but I feel like this is like the perfect size for this kinds of project. Then I'm just going to let the whole thing dry and set. Once it's dry and set, I'm just going to be painting this with my uh, roller acrylic paint and my brush giving this few coats until it's covered and I help myself again with the dotting tool I'm telling you this is pretty handy to have I need a jump ring, my pliers and this necklace that is pretty much done for me I bought it at Hobby Lobby or just Michael I don't remember one of those places so I'm just going to be using my pliers to open my jump ring and just put my heart in there so yeah this is the idea that I wanted to share with you and I really like it I think it looks super cute, dainty, so much fun to do and it's really affordable to make as well last month actually I made a this really dainty stuff hard necklaces and I wanted to make a hard necklace but just using this technique to make this fluffier yeah I really like it hopefully you like it too if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and share this and click on the bell so yeah thank you so much for watching I'll take you later and take care bye guys